if you want to get the measurements of these parts before you tear everything apart, you can't use a ruler to try to measure across. But if you had a big set of calipers, you'd be able to do it. But one simple way that we found is we take a big piece of paper and rip a little hole in it just like that. Now it's over the rotor and we can get the imprint of it on the paper. And then with it on the paper, we can take the measurement and you can see if I move it around a little bit, it's at about 31 or so that'd be like 312, 310 millimeters. So I could have rubbed that in a little bit more, but we noticed that the brake pad seems to be running off of the rotor a little bit. And when we did some research online, it seems like everybody's saying these front rotors are 320 millimeters. So we're looking at the caliper and it seems like there's space for another 10 millimeters. So we're probably just gonna end up ordering the 320 millimeter rotors and we'll hopefully those will work. So this is really useful to be able to measure your part because that's important. Sometimes there's two rotors that are very close and you just wanna make sure you get the right size rotor because if you have the wrong size rotor, it won't be getting done that day. And we buy the rotors and brakes from rockauto.com. It's about $50 for both front rotors and the brake pad. So originally I thought it was gonna be $50, but whenever we calculated in shipping, shipping's $11 and then about $370 is tax. So the total is $65, which is still a really good deal compared to the local place, which is a lot more. So we're gonna go ahead and order these. Now if you compare that to like our local auto parts store, it's about $125 for both rotors and the brake pads. So that is definitely a really good deal.